Hi, welcome back to another video. We want to have a series which will help you tackle section B of paper 2. So in section B, you have to pick two out of three questions. And most of the time, these questions, you will have 60% on concept and only about max 30 to 40% on calculations. I know that a lot of people don't like to write the theory sort, but this is something that you have to grasp. And if you get them, it's quite easy for you to score between your four to six marks. First series is going to be on kinetic model of matter. Before we go and tackle the questions, let's have a quick overview of uh, kinetic theory of matter. Okay, so like the name suggests kinetic theory, this theory is about motion of particles. So let's just start from this line first. So if we compare the kinetic energy of particles in solid, liquid and gas, right? So over here, this will be the lowest, right? And then this is higher and this is highest okay so incrementally the they are constantly moving this one move the lowest this is moving slightly faster and this is fastest okay and this is one set of energy that is going to counter our forces of attraction so to hold matter together there are forces of attraction so you will learn in higher level which what exactly are these bonds are they hydrogen bonds are they ionic bonds but at this level, you just need to know them generally as forces of attraction. So these forces of attraction will constantly be present in the particles. The difference is, what is the kinetic energy of those particles? Are they able to overcome the forces of attraction? That is going to affect our position, spacing and motion. Okay. So forces of attraction, in a sense, we are talking about net force. This is the strongest. So for solid, sometimes they will structure it in a, the, the molecules are arranged in a way that all the forces are like, like ropes that tie them down, okay? And because kinetic energy is low, they will all be in their fixed position. And they are very close to each other, okay? So motion, there is only vibration in place. So because there is only vibration in place and their position is fixed, so the shape is fixed and because they are already very close to each other okay so you you cannot compress them you cannot make them smaller okay and because forces of attraction is also strong they are in place you cannot pull them bigger as well so volume is also fixed so this is for your solid so as we introduce energy energy is the ability to do work so in this case what are we doing work against we're doing work against the forces of attraction as the energy of the particles increase, so in liquid, some of the bonds are being broken or the energy is able to overcome the force of attraction. So then this is the force of attraction. The net effect is that you will be weakened. Okay, so you, or you can say certain bonds are broken. So in fact, for liquids, they are constantly being broken and formed again. And that allow them to leave their fixed position to be in a random position. So they are no longer fixed, right? They are still close to each other because there is still some forces of attraction present, okay? But now for motion, they are able to slide past each other. So they are constantly sliding, okay? Just like this picture. So because of that, the ability to slide past each other, okay? They are no longer in a fixed position. It's no fixed shape. But because they are still close to each other, because forces of attraction is still, the net effect is still present, they still have a fixed volume. So as we introduce more energy, more kinetic energy to the particles, then finally there will come a point which they can overcome most of the forces of attraction. They are free, okay? Your, like, your parents can no longer keep you at home. You can go out at night, do whatever you want, all right? Okay, so here the net effect is like, is close to zero but you know that it is because of overcoming okay it's not that suddenly one day they are no longer attracted to each other it's just that you have something else that can literally overcome all the forces of attraction so they are also in random position and they are further apart from each other all right much further compared to solid and liquid state motion is they are able to move at high speed in all directions okay so for liquid 
are they moving at high speed? Yes, but they are bounded. They, they, they are still kind of like connected to each other, okay? It's just flexible connection. So because they are able to move at fast speed in all directions, okay, so there is also no fixed shape. And because now they are further apart, that's why there is no fixed volume. And we know for gas, we are able to compress gas. Why are we able to compress them? Because they are far apart in the first place. So you see the story kind of always start with the kinetic energy of the particles. That kinetic energy will determine whether they can overcome the forces of attraction and that will affect the position, spacing, motion. And when we experience the matter, we will experience them whether in their volume and the shape, whether it's fixed or not. Okay, so this is a quick overview. Now let's quickly look at the questions. Okay, we're going to go through a few years' papers. So first is the paper that came out in 2019. So uh, as you can see, 12A, volume of some ice cubes freezes when they are left in a freezer for some time. It's because ice changes from a solid to a vapor without becoming a liquid. Use kinetic theory to describe arrangement and motion of molecules of ice and, and in the vapor. Three marks, so arrangement of molecules in the ice and in the vapor. I'm just going to write some of the key notes. So ice, you have to recognize that ice is solid and vapor is gas, right? So from solid change to gas, this process is called sublimation, right? But they are not testing you on this. They are basically trying to just test you if you know kinetic theory of particles in solid and gas. So if you look back at this, so on this column and this column. So arrangement, firstly, okay, so in ice, one ice arrangement, you have to say that is in fixed position. Whereas in vapor, they are in random position. So one of the key for you to, uh, keys in answering question is three C's. Okay, concept context and conclusion conclusion concept is this is the concept okay this is the context is in this case is ice cubes in freezer conclusion is if you need to find a conclusion so it's always important for you to use words that they use in the question so in this case you don't write solid are in fixed position gas is in random position then they know that you are just regurgitating, you're not applying to the context. So use ice and vapor. So here you will get your one and a half marks already. So arrangement for ice fixed position, vapor and random position. Motion for ice, okay, they are vibrating in place. As per what we discussed, for vapor, they are moving in high speed in all directions so these are the keywords and that should give you the three marks right let's look at another year's paper so this is 2017 paper so the context is a heater in two cans the first part of the question is talking about thermal energy transfer which we will which we'll discuss more in our next video series but I want to just focus on this part, part C, four marks question. Describe how the motion and arrangement of the molecules of the wax change as the wax is heated. Okay, so again, we look at uh, concept and context. So the concept here is, of course, your kinetic theory of particles. The context over here, so we are starting from wax that is in a solid state. Okay, then as it heated up, it melts. So we are talking about from solid to liquid. So that's the context that we are looking at. So they are looking at motion and arrangement. And the keyword is change. So you need to compare. Okay. And another keyword is how. So it kind of also suggests like how did it happen? Okay, so it's not just what is happening, but how is it happened? Okay. For a start, when the wax is solid, so you can say that, uh, okay, let's go with uh, arrangement first. At a solid state, 
then you introduce the context, the wax, the sorry particles in the wax are vibrating at their fixed positions. So, so then we have to talk about this graph as temperature increase. So as temperature increase, vibrations become faster as particles gain kinetic energy. So here, so far what we have done is that we have answered for motion and arrangement. Arrangement is fixed position, motion is vibration. And then we talk about as temperature increase, vibration become faster as particles gain Ke. Then is this flat part, okay? When the solid wax reaches this line is called melting point. So this is another keyword. Attractive forces will start to be overcome. When wax fully melts into liquid, so now we are changing to the state ready, to a liquid state. Then we talk about the motion and the arrangement. The particles are no longer in fixed position. So why do I write that? Because I want to compare, because they're talking about change. They're no longer in fixed position, but sliding along each other. As temperature of the liquid wax increase. So here we are talking about here, this part. The molecules will gain kinetic energy and move along each other faster. So this is a story. So first we start with solid state fixed position vibrating as it increases, vibration becomes faster as again PE heat melting point attractive forces start to be overcome okay so here is actually latent heat uh, but you don't learn that in your syllabus so it's okay if you omit that when the wax fully melts so we are talking about here right into liquid form particles no longer in fixed position so it's changed but they are sliding along each other as temperature of the wax increase molecules will gain kinetic energy and move along each other faster okay so that will gain you four marks 20. okay next we have the 2018 paper so context is a cylinder with gas and the piston is pushed to this position so b part one for two marks describe the arrangement and motion of the molecules of the air in the cylinder so two marks so basically it is trying it's a recall question trying to test you about this this column of information over here Okay, so let's just quickly get that down. So B part one, motion. So you can say the molecules of air move at keyword high speed in all directions. They are not held at a fixed position, but in random positions. Actually they are constantly moving so they are no longer locked at one place. So that will gain you two marks. The second part of the question, as the piston moves in the direction of the arrow means move backwards, density of the air decreases, temperature also decreases. State how the arrangement and motion of the air molecules of the air cylinder change when the piston moves in that direction. The important thing is temperature decrease and density decrease. So originally they are in this amount of space. When density decreases, mass over volume means that volume has increased. So the amount of space that the molecules have to operate in becomes much more. So how would that uh, affect the motion? Okay, do you think the motion will speed up or will it slow down? So we know that it will slow down because temperature has decreased. Temperature is related to the kinetic energy. When kinetic energy increase, temperature will increase. When kinetic energy 
uh, decrease, temperature will decrease, so vice versa. So temperature decrease, so kinetic energy has gone down, means that they have become relatively slower. So the molecules are moving relatively slower than before and due to the increase in volume. So now we are addressing this part, spacing. They are further apart from each other. So the effects is actually consequential. We can say that because they are further apart from each other, they have more space, the collisions become lesser. Because the collision become lesser, kinetic energy drop. Because kinetic energy drop, temperature decrease. But you can write it in this order as well. So they are moving relatively slower. So that is for your motion. And the arrangement is that they are still in random position, but the thing is they are further apart from each other due to the increase in volume. So these are the keywords to get your two marks. Last question for this series, 2015 question. The context here is we have a container with a liquid and mercury and a whole circuit. So you see this is tagged together with electricity question. First part, use kinetic theory to explain why liquid has a fixed volume and is able to flow. Uh, and then part two, why liquid air expands when it is heated. So let's tackle them one at a time. So it has a fixed volume and able to flow. So remember just now the summary that I've gone through. So it's, it's important for you to understand the, the relationship. So the reason why it has a fixed volume, okay, is because for liquid, all right, there are still bonds, there are still forces of attraction that are holding the molecules close to each other. So although the molecules have enough energy to overcome some of the bonds as compared to solid to slide past each other, that's why they are able to flow. Let's write that down. So liquid particles have gained enough energy to overcome some forces of attraction. These allow them to slide or move past each other. So here we have answer for able to flow. However, forces of attraction are still present between the particles. Therefore, it has a fixed volume. So that will gain you your two marks out of the four. Now the second part of the question. Liquid A expands when it is heated. Keyword is heated. You have to follow the story. So when it is heated, the particles gain kinetic energy. So this allows the particles to move further apart from each other. Because they've moved further apart from each other, they take up more space. Therefore, the liquid expands. So the two marks goes to the keyword gain kinetic energy because when it's heated. And because it gain kinetic energy, they are able to move further apart from each other. Okay. Therefore, the liquid expand. So that will gain you your four marks. That's it. So these are all your questions for kinetic theory. So you can see in the past five years, we have four years. Each question is about four marks. Understand the theory and then know which exactly how to apply and remember the three C concept, context, conclusion. Thanks for staying through. That was a long one. So if you like, do like the video and subscribe to our channel.